2024 New York International Auto Show here at the Javits Center in Manhattan. I'm Motor City Maggie. If you are tuning in and seeing this from the beginning, you're most likely watching a replay. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. I would appreciate it so much. I love doing walkthroughs of the auto show. This is day one of press, of media, and it's a little later in the afternoon, so hopefully it's not going to be too crowded, but I'm going to do a very brief walkthrough of each display so I can try and show you as much as possible in a short amount of time. Look at this. I am in what's called the Crystal Palace of the Javits Center, and it is so beautiful with all of the automotive banners hanging high, and we're going to go right into Ford. That is going to be our first stop, so let's head on in and see what the Ford display looks like this year. Hello, New York. Hello, Ford. Okay, we are popping in. Yes, please say hello in the comments. Hello, thank you so much for saying hi from Dubai. Hello from New York City. Here we've got the 2024 Escape ST line. That's our first Ford vehicle that we are seeing. And look at this. This is the very cool F-150 rally truck. This is awesome. I've seen this at a few different auto shows. Look at that. That's got to be so much fun to drive. It is called the Switch Gear. And over here, we're going to go into Bronco Land. Hello, this is the Big Bend Bronco. Next, we're going to go over to the 2024 Bronco Heritage. Okay, this is awesome. Yes, we're going to check out some hot hatchbacks. We're going to walk all through the show. Hopefully, this is going to take about 45 minutes to an hour, but there's a lot to see here at the show, so I'm going to try and go quickly. Look at this, Heritage Bronco. I have actually never seen this one before, and I love it. I love that it's a two-door in this really cool light blue color. Nice. Okay, now we're going to head over to the Explorer. I did a Motor City Maggie video on the new Ford Explorer uh, ST and Platinum in Chicago. So you can check that out on my channel. The ST is definitely more sporty and the Platinum is a little more luxurious. That ST is locked. Here's the Platinum. The Ford Explorer is manufactured in Chicago. So it was really fun to have it there. Here is the F-150 Tremor. Look at these seats. Love that. Such a great truck. Okay, let's take a look over at Mustang land. We've got the Ford Mustang GTD. I've done a Motor City Maggie short video on this. And it is going to cost $300,000. But can you imagine driving that down the street? So much fun. And here we've got the dark horse. I'm obsessed with the paint color on the dark horse. It is uh, got kind of a holographic paint. And look at that. There's the famous dark horse batch. And if there are any requests for a particular vehicle you'd like to see, please let me know in the comments. Okay, I am so excited to see this. This is the Sydney Sweeney Ford Mustang. So Sydney Sweeney, the actress, has a partnership with Ford. And this is her Mustang that she designed and I know they're doing a giveaway for it online. Look at this paint. I don't know if it's coming through, but it is glittery. It is really pretty. And I'm gonna pop over here, thank you. I like how she has the shiny wheels going. And look at this interior. Very cool, Sydney. I'm into it, girl. Love it. She also has merch. 
with Ford. Look at the door sill. Very nice. What else do we have here at Ford? Let's check it out. They have a huge display. That's the Ranger Lariat. We've got more Broncos over here. This is the Bronco Raptor. Wow, love the orange accents, the tow hooks. And here is the 2024 Bronco Sport Freewheeling with kind of the 70s vibe paint. Jeez, they have so many Broncos here. A Bronco for everybody here in New York. A million Broncos in this display. Wow. Broncoville. This one is the Wild Track. Oh, this one's so cool. It's got all the open windows. Looks like you can take off the top. And you've got a bit of a truck bed there. All right. Moving on. More Broncos. <laughs> All right, if you like Broncos, come to the New York Auto Show because you will get your fill on every Bronco that you can imagine. Okay, here we go. We've got the Mustang Mach-E, one of my favorite electric vehicles. This is the Rally Mustang Mach-E, super fast. And we've got a beautiful yellow and black Mustangs. So we got Mustang Land and Bronco Land. I could definitely see myself driving a Mustang Mach-E. It's a really great vehicle. And we've got the Mustang GT convertible. All right. Ooh, platinum. F-150, looking sharp. Look at that interior. Ooh, wow. Ford Land is represented here. Another Mach-E. They've got an electric zone next to an electric F-150. Lightning. Very nice. Okay, Raptor is representing. Hi, Play Apps. Thanks for saying hello. Okay, next I'm gonna head over to Chevy and then I'm gonna double back to Nissan because we've gotta check out the new Nissan Kicks. I have not seen it yet in person, so I'm excited about that. So let's check out Chevy. Here's a wide view. Hello. And there's Nissan, just so you can get a sense of the space. Okay, let's dive into Chevy. I told you, we've got to move quickly through this since there's a lot to see. Here is our 2024 Chevy Colorado Z R2. Okay, looking good. I like the Colorado. I think it's a good truck. And... We're gonna head over to the Silverado ZR2. Got it back up so you can see the whole thing. Hi, Sabil, how are you? Thanks for tuning in. And here's our Silverado. Wow, this is really lifted. Can you see this? The 2500 HD Silverado. How much is this bad boy? Let's check it out. We are looking at $91,000. Ooh, baby. That's an expensive truck right there. Nice. Those are some wide mirrors. Can you see that? All right, coming around. I'm looking for the Silverado EV. Here's the high country right there. And I'm going to move on over to the Tahoe. Here's the suburban high country. And then here's the Tahoe. And then we've got some work trucks here as well. 
another Tahoe. Man, that is a big SUV. How much is this Tahoe? Let's see. We are looking at 81,000 for the Tahoe Z71. Woo. Hi, Ronnie. Thanks for tuning in. All right, let's move on to the 2025 Equinox. This is the active model. Very nice. And we've got the Traverse. This is the 2024 Traverse. Thank you. And looks like we have a hatch open. So let me go around the back real quick. And the Traverse is going to sit seven best in class cargo capacity. Okay, let's see how good that is. Looks pretty good for a seven passenger SUV. Really great for strollers and groceries, whatever else you like to haul with you, luggage. All right, woo, Chevy, you've got a big display. Here we go. Oh, is that my Malibu? I, fun fact, have had four Malibus. I leased them all, four white Chevy Malibus. It was my, my go-to vehicle for a long time. Just very reliable, good sedan. Okay, I have always been a Corvette fan. I'm Motor City Maggie, grew up in Detroit, and the Corvette was always my dream car. Oh gorgeous. Here's our Stingray. I've always been obsessed with the Corvette. Maybe I'll get to have one one day. Wow. I love it. Here's the Corvette E-Ray. Gorgeous. Look at the blue stripes. How are we doing on price over here? All right, $131,000 for the 2024 Corvette E-Ray. Wow, ooh, look at these blue seats. Obsessed with that. Oh, yes, look at all the blue. Gorgeous. All right, let's keep moving. And we've got the Z06. Love it. Okay. Now we're going into our electric zone. We've got the Chevy Equinox EV here. RS model. Looking sharp. Looking sharp. Thank you. And we've got a range of 319 miles. And looks like we don't have pricing on that one yet, but looks like the interior looks really good. All right, here it is. Here's the Chevy Silverado EV. Oh, I love this truck. I have a full Motor City Maggie walk around on this one. And I am really excited to see it in the real world. We are saying that this has a 400 mile driving range. Wow. It is going to be pricey though. Here's the RST model. And, oh, look at this. We've got an all electric police blazer. Wow, okay. Let's see what that looks like. Wow, look at this. They put police lights on it and everything. That is cool. Police pursuit vehicle. 273 miles of range, 130 miles per hour as the top speed. Okay. That's cool. Oh, it looks pretty good like that from the side. And here is the Equinox RS all-wheel drive. Yeah, it is something new. I haven't seen a, a police EV at an auto show. 
Here's the traverse. All right. And the trailblazer. That is a bright blue color. And here's the tracks. I have a Motor City Maggie video on the tracks. It's a really nice entry level compact SUV. All right, shall we go to Nissan? Let's head over and check out Nissan. I'm really excited to see the kicks. I've seen it online. I have not seen it in person. I've heard it's been so popular all day. It's been nearly impossible to get to. And oh my gosh, look, there's no one there right now. Yes. Okay, here it is, folks. Here is the kicks. Thank you. The SR trim. Hi, John. Thanks for joining me. Okay, what do you guys think? We've got the red roof. It's got a sneaker inspired interior. So we got to check that out. Let's see. What is this? Can you see that? It's kind of like, like a different design there under the vehicle. Someone's in the front seat. So let's check out the back. Oh, Kyler does not like it. This one's all wheel drive. So, so far the folks in the comments are split. Ooh, that was not automatic. I expected it to be a power lift gate, but it was not. All right, the seats are folded down. Lots of cargo space. It is a uh, manual lift gate there. Let's see the back seat. I'm gonna put these seats up. Okay, I do like the red inlays. A lot of the automakers go with the red because they feel like it looks sporty. People in the auto industry seem to associate the color red with sporty. Oh, okay, this is one thing that I like. There are Bose speakers in the headrests. So this gives you more of a 360 sound experience. So that is pretty cool. Here's your moonroof. It's not quite, I wouldn't call it panoramic. It doesn't reach too far back. <laughs> Definitely not a Ferrari. Okay, let's see. I'll try and give you guys a view of the headliner and the screens. The steering wheel. The screens look good, very clear, very sharp. I'm seeing a lot of kind of plastic right there by the shifter, but it looks like it'd be a fun, fun vehicle to drive. Okay, let's move on. I think that's as close as we're gonna get. Hey everybody, it's Toyota Jeff. Hey. We're going live. Oh, that's great. Well, that's Say that's hi. Great. All right, if you guys do not subscribe to Toyota Jeff, make sure you check out his channel because he is the best. He also does auto Jeff. He talks about all different kinds of Toyotas. All right, let's keep going. Here's one more look at the kicks and we're moving on. Lots of people here. Okay. Hey, we've got lots of people saying hi to Jeff. That's nice. Okay, we've got the GTR up here. Here we go. GTR Nismo, 600 horsepower, twin turbo V6. Love it. Let's check it out. Oh, it looks so good. It looks so good. Look at the yellow brake calipers and that giant wing and the carbon fiber hood. Okay, you guys, I'm into this. Looks so good. We don't have a price. Do we have a price on this? It starts at 220. Oh, thank you. Well, for the Nismo starts at 220. Nismo. The base GTR starts at 120. So the Nismo is $220,000. 
and the base is 120. Oh boy. GTR doubles at 140 starting. And this one starts at 140. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If you're here at the auto show, make sure you talk to the product specialist. They are so knowledgeable and helpful and super friendly. Okay. Got to sneak in with this guy here. All right. Looks so good. Okay. Check this out. Oh my gosh. Love it. Okay, what else can we quickly see over here? We've got the Nissan Z. Wow. And we've got the Rogue, platinum all-wheel drive. Two hundred and one horsepower, two twenty-five pound-feet of torque. Okay, the Rogue looks bigger to me. I feel like it's uh, gotten larger recently. And we've got the Aria, Nissan's electric car here. This is the Platinum Plus. And the Nissan Leaf. The reliable Nissan Leaf electric vehicle. My uncle has one. He lives in Hawaii. <laughs> All right, here's the Pathfinder. We've got the SUVs over here. And after this, let's see where the wind takes us. This is the Rock Creek edition. And of course, Nissan still has their pickup truck. I feel like I don't see a lot of Frontiers on the road. Oh, Christopher likes the new kicks yeah and got another road back there and here's the versa and you can see all the production happening here and the big display for the kicks okay we're gonna head this way so downstairs at the auto show they will also have an ev test track but we're just going to walk through the main floor and then outside they also have a jeep camp jeep set up and a forward driving experience so now we're in the exotics oh wait we got to see the porsche porsche macan here we go i also heard that it was hard to get close earlier today to the new EV Porsche. Hello, beautiful. There you are. Wow. Yes, I am friends with a lot of YouTubers. Okay, I gotta get in, get inside. Look at this. Look at that. I love this LED light bar. That is gorgeous. Okay, we got to see inside. Please be unlocked. Yes. Okay. <gasps> what? Okay. Look at this. This whole thing is a screen. Wow. Oh my gosh. Let's see if I can get in the back seat. Stick with me, guys. Look at this. What? That is so beautiful. Gosh, Porsche, they know what they're doing. And we've got the whole roof is glass almost. Back up. Let's see if I can get in the hatch. Probably not. Hmm? Getting twisted here. They have a foot activated lift gate. That would be so nice. Ah. I found the button though. Here we go. That is a lot of cargo capacity. Wow. Very nice. Very nice. Let's see. 
Excuse me, do we have a price yet? The weight is 137. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Starts at one. This one's 137, starts at 101, I think you just said. So nice. And there's the rest of the Porsche exhibit here. Let me try and get around this guy. Dodging people. And more Porsches. So beautiful. Cayenne S Coupe. And, oops, excuse me, folks. Someone's filming back there. And Taycan Turbo S. Gorgeous. Okay, now we've got kind of this uh, exotic section here. So we're looking at the Lamborghini Manhattan. Oh, baby. Look at that. And Lamborghini Manhattan, man, they, uh, they probably make a lot of money. <laughs> Look at these two beauties. Wow. And then Lotus. Wow, you don't often see a Lotus. The paint color, I wish you could see in person. Wow. It is going from silver to pink to blue. Oh yeah, are you talking about, which Buick are you talking about then, Vista? Because I want to head over there shortly. Look at this Lotus. Whoop. No worries. Look at that. Yeah, look at, see? Can you see that paint? Is it coming through on the camera? Gosh, that's so beautiful. Wow. Marty McFly. Thanks for tuning in. Okay. And we've got Rolls Royce over here. We've got to keep moving, guys. There is so much to see. And what's going on over here? Ooh, Ferrari. Oh my gosh. Is that a La Ferrari? What? If it is, that is very rare and very expensive. Look at this Lamborghini truck. That is so cool. Oh, you guys, it's um, Michael Strahan. Wait a minute. This is so fun. We're catching this on Motor City Maggie. Wow. Oh, he's on camera. That is so fun. And then we are checking out this other tiny little car over here, but I'm not sure what it is. Wow. Okay. Well, excuse me. And Rymac, I am not familiar with this brand. And Koenigsegg and Karma are down here as well. All right, we got to show you. Oh, the Koenigsegg is gone. What the heck? Yeah, really cool timing. I can't believe that. Don't worry, we're going to get back to the regular cars that people can buy not the exotics in just a moment. So just stick with me. Here's a Karma. Oh my gosh, how absolutely gorgeous. Another Karma. Wow, I can't believe we saw Michael Strahan. That was, yeah, that was so random and fun. Here we go. Bentley. Yeah, I don't know what happened with the Koenigsegg because I really wanted to see it. Maybe it's coming tomorrow? I don't know. Maybe it didn't make it? This Bentley has wow has artwork all over it uh of london that's really nice okay so let's go to i think subaru is next let's go yes we got subaru coming up all right subaru always does such a nice job with their display they make it feel like you're in a a rainforest, a national park, and here's the new Forester, the new Subaru Forester. This is a prototype. Let's see the inside real quick. Looks good. Seats five still. 
looks like. Look at this. There's a forester. I don't love the grill. Whoa, the floor just changed. Whoa. Wow. We've got birds chirping. So the Super Forester is a Consumer Reports top safety pick. Oh no, it's a Consumer Reports top pick for 10 years. Okay. And here they have a, wow, a vehicle that has been in a crash. And look at this, they have an old, is this an old Forester, an old Outback? Look at that, looks like the 90s. An old Forester, oh my gosh, look at that. All right, moving on. Yes, Subaru still makes an SUV, or a sedan. This is the Legacy. And we've got a little hatchback. This is the Impreza. And they have a lot of empty space here at Subaru. I feel like they could have had a few more vehicles on display to fill in this space, but it's okay. And we've got, ooh, got a race car and we've got the WRX, so fun, quad exhaust. Love the wheels, red calipers. Interesting, they don't have, they say this is a prototype. And we've got the BRZ TS, which is basically identical to the Toyota GR86. All right, let's move on. You guys wanna go to Kia next? We're here. Let's go to Kia. Okay, so Kia is showing off the new K4. So we're gonna find that over there on the platform, but we'll stop here at the Sorento. This is the turbo plug-in hybrid. Looks pretty good. This is the SX Prestige all-wheel drive. Oh, I like the interior. Nice, it's like a quilted leather. Oh, well, we're gonna go see the K4 for sure. I'm excited about that. Also a vehicle you could not get near earlier today. Here is the Kia Nero EV and the Carnival. They just uh, updated the Carnival MPV. And one more time with the Sorento. And okay, let's go see the K4. Okay, what do we think? I like the wheels, I like the headlights, I like the taillights. I'm not totally sold on the fastback part where the window ends. For some reason, this cutoff irks me a little bit. I feel like it should, I don't know, be extended slightly. Let me know if you agree with me. I just feel like, it just feels like an abrupt stop to the glass there but let's take a look. This is the GT line. And it's got one of those hidden door handles here. And there we go. And I'll show you from the driver's seat as well. And then we've got a two-tone steering wheel. And I love how the screens match up. That's nice that it's just kind of like one big screen. I think that looks really good. Sport pedals. And it's got a really low ground clearance. So yeah, there's your K4. Here's the K5. I like that one better. See what I'm talking about with this window, how it goes at an angle? I just feel like that looks so much better than 
the way this one's chopped off. Yeah, the K5 is really nice. Look at the lime green. It's kind of like highlighter yellow brake calibers. I'm just, a, I don't know. I'm kind of a sucker for some brake calibers. <laughs> it's always been my thing. Here's the inside. I like this one better how it has a, a all black steering wheel. And we've got that same highlighter yellow continuing across the seats. All right. This is what it looks like when you have a press conference. You have all these seats set up here in the display. And then tomorrow, they're probably gonna move all this out so they can move in more vehicles for public days. I'm gonna get out of their shot. Let's go to the, the EV9. I have a Motor City Maggie video on the EV9 from last year at the New York Auto Show. Here it is. The EV9, it just won a bunch of awards. It won the World Car of the Year and the 2024 World Electric Vehicle. So very impressive that it's, it's won these big awards. Wow, look at that. Congratulations, EV9. Big three-row electric SUV. All right. This one, let's see if it's going to give me the MSRP. $78,000. Wow. But that's for the GT line. Okay. Let's keep, keep on going. And then we'll go to Toyota next. And you all know I am a Toyota girly. I love Toyota. It is the brand that I am most knowledgeable about, the brand that I like the most. So here's the Telluride. And there's the Sorento. And here's the EV6. Okay. Oh, we will get to Lexus, definitely. We'll go to Lexus after Toyota. Here's the Sportage. One thing that's interesting about the Sportage is in Canada, they call it the Sportage. <laughs> I think that's so cute. Hybrid electric vehicle, Sportage or Sportage, depending on where you're from. Okay. And here is the plug-in hybrid Sportage or Sportage. So this one has, let's see, it looks like it will get 34 miles of range on EV, then switch into hybrid mode and get 35 miles per gallon. And it starts at about $40,000. Yeah, so that's Kia. All right, let's go to Toyota. Okay, so first of all, they have their sports fest going on. And this is something that they've had at a few major auto shows. This is really fun, showcasing their partnership with the Olympics and the Paralympic Games. And oh, here's a front end look of those Kias that I'm walking by. Very nice. Okay, I've got to get around the sports bus. But it's really fun. If you come to the auto show, you can bring your kids here. You can run on a track. Yes, that was wheelchair basketball. So Toyota has a sports fest and they show different Paralympic sports. So you can learn how to shoot a hockey puck using a sled. You can check out their um, mobility bicycles that uh, bicyclists in the Paralympics would use. Um, yeah, they've just got a, a lot of really cool Olympic and Paralympic games. Okay, here we are in Toyota, folks. 
there is a, a reception going on here, so we'll do our best. But here is the all new 2024 Toyota Land Cruiser. This is in Meteor Shower. This is the 1958 model, which is the base model. And check it out. I have done two Motor City Maggie videos on the Land Cruiser. Definitely take a look at those videos if you have questions about the Land Cruiser and want to see a full walkthrough because it's pretty exciting that it's coming back. Look at this. It's got the iForce Max powertrain, 2.4 liter four cylinder engine paired with an electric motor because it's a hybrid. It tows 6,000 pounds and it comes out very soon. Look at this, we've got a reception going on here in Toyota. All right, so let's try and work our way around the crowds. <laughs> and here we go, we've got the Motor Trend Car of the Year, the Toyota Prius. This one specifically is the Prius Prime, the plug-in Prius. It gets about 44 miles on one charge, and then it'll switch into hybrid mode and get about 51 miles to the gallon. And uh, yeah, it's a great vehicle. I used to have a Prius at a 2017, and the styling now is so good. Here's the BZ4X. It gets 252 miles of range. It's available in front wheel drive or all wheel drive. There's the regular Prius hybrid and it's got a Yankee wrap on it. If you're a Yankees fan, come take a picture with us at the auto show. Okay, here is the 2025 Toyota Camry. It is a hybrid only vehicle in front wheel drive or all wheel drive for 2025. Comes out this spring and it looks pretty good. It's the best selling sedan in America for about 20 years now. Here we go, here is the Sienna, a hybrid only vehicle. Ooh, look at the reclining seats. Wow, pretty nice. We've got the Corolla Cross over here. If you want a RAV4, but you want something less expensive than a RAV4, I always say that the Corolla Cross looks like a mini RAV4 to me. And then here's the RAV4 Prime. Gets about 42 miles of EV range, then switches into hybrid mode. Here is the Highlander, built in Indiana. This is the Highlander Hybrid. And here is the Highlander, the Grand Highlander, and it's got a Mets wrap. So if you're a Mets fan, come take a picture with this one. The Grand Highlander. This one also comes from Indiana out of the same manufacturing facility as the regular Highlander. Okay, here we go. The Supra. Ooh, hello. Looking good in this red hot color. I have driven the Supra. It is so much fun. It is a very exciting vehicle to drive. Highly recommend if you can ever get your hands on one. And here's the GR86 and the GR Corolla. I have done a Motor City Maggie video on the GR Corolla, three cylinder engine, 300 horsepower, Manual transmission only. So a lot of people won't be able to drive it if they don't know how to drive a stick shift. What car do I have now? Good question. I have a RAV4 hybrid, the XSE model, and a Tesla Model 3. Okay, here is our TRD Pro 4Runner. When are we going to see a new 4Runner, folks? I'm ready for it. Here is the Tacoma X Runner. This was built for SEMA. It's very cool. I love the body kit on it. And then there is a Tacoma Trail Hunter that is wrapped for the Super Bowl because Toyota now has a partnership with the NFL, the official automotive partner of the NFL. So you'll see a lot of Toyota commercials when you are 
watching football in the fall. Oh, you want to see the Camry again? You know what? I did a whole Motor City Maggie video on the Camry. Uh, so definitely check that one out because that one that we just walked by, I believe is locked. So the 25 Camry, if you want to see inside of it, um, check out my full video. And then this is the TRD Pro Tundra advertising the New York Red Bulls, uh, which I believe is a soccer team. All right, and then we've got the Sequoia Capstone. Yes, and we're moving on to the Tacoma Trail Hunter. It is also locked because it's not out yet, but this is very cool for overlanding as opposed to the TRD Pro, which is good for off-roading. Okay. And here we go. The 1794 Toyota Tundra. I love this interior. This is an ode to the Texas facility in San Antonio where the Tundra is manufactured. So it's got kind of a, you know, country Texas vibe. And we've got a RAV4 over here. They're advertising some auto show specials. And here's the Corolla. The Corolla is the best selling vehicle in the history of the world. A good old reliable Corolla manufactured in Mississippi. All right, and here's another look at that sports fest. Okay, where should we go next? Infinity, ooh. I want to see the new Infinity SUV. Thank you, Kyler. That was so nice of you. Wow, that was really sweet. And um, here we are, the Infinity QX60. So what we really want to see is the QX80. That was the, the big highlight vehicle here at Infinity. Here it is. Okay, let's see. They're having a reception as well. So we're gonna try and get closer to it. Look at that. I love the headlights. This is really cool. The tail lights are really interesting too. Okay, we might have to wait our turn to see inside. Look at these door handles. Wow, oh my gosh. Look at this. They have a screen in the center there, so you can adjust the second row of seats. There's also a third row. Here's the moonroof. And they have the Kipsitch speakers. And it looks like I'll be able to get in next. Thank you. Wow, look at this. Oh my goodness. Wow, the autograph. Look at this. Beautiful. Everything is digital. The shift buttons are here. Oops, can you see that? Shift buttons are here. And looks like a camera mode. But other than that, look, I just turned on the camera mode. There are very few physical buttons. The screens are really nice. Wow. Beautiful. Okay, let's check out the cargo. Look at the taillight design. And then, what's this too? Ooh, oh, look at that. Wow. Decent cargo space, some um, longer than the length of my forearm. Here is what it looks like from the third row, basically, to the front of the vehicle. Very, very nice SUV. Very sharp. Okay, let's uh, let's keep going because we are already at fifty minutes. 
time has flown. Okay, I might have to circle back. Oh, here we go. Can get through this way. Here's the QX50. Oh, and then we'll go to Lexus. Thank you. I'm, I'm working hard over here trying to get through. Okay. Lexus racing. Oh, love that. I love that they brought a race car. Very nice. Look at this carbon fiber hood. Wow. This is the RCF track edition. Two doors. Check out the seats. Nice. All right. And look at this the LC 500. I actually had a friend who had one of these. She leased it and it was so fast and so fun. And we drove it around LA and it was a blast. But back to the RC. I mean, look at the spoiler. So cool. This paint is really cool. And the blue interior. Wow. You guys look at this blue. That is really unique. Okay, no one can fit in the second row. <laughs> wow, but that is really cool looking. Okay, let's keep going. Wow. Okay, look at this paint color. No way. LX500, these guys are hanging out <laughs> camping. <laughs> Thanks, play apps. I'm, ooh, almost had a collision. And look at this iridescent color. This wrap is so cool. This is the LX600. Oh, but this is the 2022. So this must be just kind of like a fun show car that they brought because it's a 2022. But it's shown at, wow, over a hundred and about $107,000. But this is really neat with the accessories with the... Uh, that kind of tent that you can pop out from the roof rack and that iridescent color. Okay, check it out. We've got the GX. Let me back up so you can see the full thing. That looks so sweet. We've got fuel tanks on the side. We've got this awesome roof rack. There is a ladder in the back here. This is kind of similar in powertrain to the Toyota Tundra, not the hybrid model, but similar. It's um, a 3.5 liter V6. That looks really cool. They also have a GX on the floor. Oh, look, you guys, it's Redline Reviews. Hi. Okay, I don't mean to surprise him. Okay, there we go. Here's the TX. Did you catch that? Redline Reviews, I got him. Okay. If you're a fan of his channel, he is such a great content creator and YouTuber. Okay, here is the TX500H. Wow, this, oh, there we go. Look at that, so nice. And this one is $78,000, my goodness. So if you like the TX, but you're looking for something a little less expensive, the Grand Highlander would be comparable. And here is another TX. This is the plug-in hybrid model. Okay, here's another GX, you guys. Oh, this I really love. Okay, back to the TX. Look at this. They show one, two, three, four, five, six, seven carry-on suitcases in the cargo area. Cool. Okay, let's see if we can check out the GX. Okay. There's the GX. Feels bigger than the Land Cruiser and also more luxe than the Land Cruiser. Look at that. That's the. Um, Roof that can cut out the UV rays. And 
Yeah, that's the GX. I wish I could spend more time on it with you, but I got to keep moving. Okay, here we go. There's the RX 450H, all wheel drive. This is a great size five passenger SUV. And the F Sport. Let's see, we've got the RX 500H F Sport. Trying to get it in in that beautiful rose gold color. Uh, they're advertising their Mark Levinson speakers. And here is their electric vehicle, similar to the Toyota's BZ4X. This is the RZ450E. All right. And we've got sedans, LS500H, and the ES300H. And look at this bright blue. This is fun. The IS500. Nice. And the UX. The UX is beautiful. If I remember correctly, it was designed by a female. Is that right? Yes, it was. So it has a lot of really thoughtful touches on the interior. Okay, next I got to show you guys Genesis because they have a very impressive display. And here's the NX. All right, here is Genesis. Okay, look at these. Okay, let me get in a good spot. Okay, look at this. We've got this magma color in these three beautiful Genesis vehicles. Okay, this one I gotta go to first. This is the Genesis X Grand Berlinetta Concept. So it's a concept, it is stunning. Absolutely stunning. Look at that front end. It's so low. Oh my gosh, it looks like it's almost touching the ground. It is truly beautiful. Well, here's the GV60 Magma Concept. Look at this. <laughs> okay, coming through. It is hard, let me tell you guys. Uh, get close to these ones because they're so beautiful. Can I hop up here? Yeah, where's the, oh, thank you so much. I'm gonna get a closer look. Thank you, I appreciate it. Thank you. No problem, and I won't touch anything. Okay, look at this. Oh my gosh, look at the concept. Look at that yoke steering wheel. Look at these racing seats. Oh my goodness. Wow. It's really special. Very cool. Okay, let me get closer. There we go. Magna. Okay, gorgeous. That is very eye catching. Okay, now I gotta exit. Okay, I'm gonna sneak out. Thank you. Okay, very busy over here. He's coming too. Okay. All right. Back to the next Genesis concept. This is the Neo Loon concept. It is Latin, I was just told. Has the similar front LED headlight design. Also gorgeous, also a concept. So, wow, wow, wow. Look, it has the suicide doors. Look at this interior, I am blown away. Look at that. The screen has one singular screen. It is huge, it's like a TV. Wow, purple, interesting choice. <laughs> Let's see if I can uh, back up a bit. Hi. Don't want to fall off their platform. Oh, look at this. Isn't that cool, guys? Let's see the back end. Oh, yes. Love the LED tail lights. Looking good. All right. Good to see you. All right. You know what? I'm ready for a redesign here. That one's looking a little tired. We have to see the GV80 Coupe. 
next. This is a G70 and GV70, GV80, and here it is. Excited about this. The GV80 Coupe. A special vehicle for the New York Auto Show. Sneak in here. Hard to see around the folks. Let me get in the back seat here. Oh, interesting. Okay, look at this. We've got kind of an orangey red seatbelt and piping and stitching. And let's see, here's the front end. Okay, there's your shot of the. GV80 Coupe. All right, now we're going to run to see the Hyundai Santa Fe. And after that, we're pretty close to wrapping it up. Have I missed anything? Oh, Honda and Acura. We're going to make it over there as well. So stick with me. Polestar is also here. Okay, looks like. We're over on Hyundai, and here's the Santa Fe. Let's back up so you can see the full scope of it. What do you guys think? I like the floating roof design with the blacked out pillars. I really like that. I like the black wheels. It's quite large in person. It's bigger than I expected, actually. Interior shot. There we go. And I believe it's seven. And there's another one. I don't love this color. Don't love it. It's also kind of like a matte finish. Here's the back end. It's very boxy, very boxy. Okay. And more of Hyundai, and then we'll go see what they have on their stage briefly, because we are running out of time here. More of Hyundai. This is the Palisades, by the way. Palisade is very popular, very popular family car. And they have a, it's like a reception area hidden back there. Here's the Kona. And can I pop up there? Thank you. Okay, here's the Santa Cruz, the XRT. Okay, what do we think? Trying to really quickly move through this, guys. And here is another show car. Those are cool wheels, Tucson. This is their plug-in Tucson, hybrid plug-in. And got one more. Also don't love this color. Okay, now let's move. Here's the rest of the Hyundai display. They have quite a large display. They're showing a lot of vehicles. They have a Hope on Wheels vehicle. Very cool that they are helping kids fight cancer. That's a great partnership, and I'm glad they're doing a lot of good there. $225 million they've helped raise. Wow. Okay. We've got a little um, on-camera action happening over here. <laughs> There's the Kona. Oh, here's the Ion 5N. Definitely a fun vehicle. I would not drive it personally, but I think it looks very fun for, you know, maybe a certain demographic. And they have all their awards on display. Wow, they have a bigger display than they normally have. Ionic 5. We've got the Sonata. Ionic 6. Is the Ionic 6. That one I like better than the Ionic 5. I like the styling better. Here's the Sonata. 
and the Kona again is here. And here's the Elantra. Very cool. All right, Polestar is here. Guess what? They have the Polestar 4. I have not seen the Polestar 4 in person. Check it out. Here it is. This is the Polestar 4 all electric vehicle. The Polestar 3, I've done a walk around on my YouTube shorts. But this is cool. I really like the design. It's like, you know, very close between, it's kind of like a compact SUV, but kind of trying to also be a sedan with a fastback. I don't know. I like it. I really like, I would definitely drive this. Get it, giving kind of like model Y vibes, but oh, it's got yellow seatbelts. Oh, I can't open it. It's locked. Yellow seatbelts. I love a fun seatbelt color. And here's the Polestar 3, which uh, looks bigger to me. Here's the 4, and here's the 3. Okay. And let's move on to Acura, Honda. Oh, Audi is here. Audi is here as well. And GMC. Gosh, there's so much to see and do. You could be here for four hours and still not see everything. Here is Acura. Excuse me. Trying to dodge people. See, uh, this is the ZDX Type S. Okay. This is new. I have not seen this before. And let's see. Okay, this is the MDX sitting at $66,000. Beautiful. And now we're looking at the TLX Type S. And wow. Lots of space to cover still. Okay, here's the RDX. And now we're in Honda land. Honda, Honda, lots of cars on carpet. Looks a little bland. I feel like they could have a, a few more exciting elements of the show, but this is the CRV. At least they're here because Honda didn't come to auto shows for a little while. Here's the Odyssey, CRV. Okay, we got lots of CRVs going on. The Pilot. And the Passport. And of course we've got the truck, the Ridgeline. This is their partnership with the New York Jets. And we've got the HRV. Man, it's just, it feels just very empty in their display apart from the vehicles. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not seeing a lot of exciting elements just so you guys can kind of get the scope here. Uh, here it is, a Honda display. Okay, here's the Prologue. Oh, okay, this is exciting. Yes, this is Honda's first electric vehicle. Check out the badging. I think that's cool. It's their new EV logo there. All wheel drive, Prologue Elite. I have seen this before. And uh, there's somebody in there. Here's the front end. Yeah, it's about a 300 mile driving range. Ooh, that interior is a surprise, the tan and the black. Okay.
Civic Type R. The Accord, very popular. And oh, back to Acura, the MDX. Okay, let's head over to GMC and Buick. Uh, Cadillac does not have a display here, by the way, but they do have a test drive experience downstairs. So I want to see the Elantra. So we'll go to that last. So then we can go to Audi and then we're done. So here's the Acadia. I've done a short Motor City Maggie video on this. The new Acadia Denali. Love it. There's another Denali. Oh, it looks so big. Oh my gosh, is that huge? Oh, and then we've got the Hummer EV. Nice. Oh, you want to see the cord? I'm trying to move really fast here. I've already been going for 71 minutes. Um, yeah, there we go. There is the Hummer EV. Look at the front end. I love how it says Hummer in the lights there. And there's the Acadia Denali again. And whew, that is a big Denali. Here's our GMC trucks. We've got the Sierra 2500 Denali Ultimate. Oh my gosh. Okay. GMC Canyon. And the GMC Sierra 1500 AT4. I've only seen one Hummer EV in the wild and it was in Los Angeles on the 405. It was very cool. I was driving behind it at night and it looked so awesome. Okay, the only Buick that I see is the Invista. It's the only one. There's no other Buicks here. So that's interesting. They only brought one vehicle because here's GMC over here. The Sierra EV is right there. And then, ta-da, Invista. Okay, I think the Invista is really nice. I would definitely drive this. Inspired by the Buick Wildcat. Look at those headlights. And I really enjoy the new Buick badging. I think this badge looks so sharp. It is such an upgrade from kind of a, the older demographic based badge of yesteryear that uh, we used to see on Buick. I am definitely a Buick fan. I've done videos on the Encore and on the Envision. And I might have a Buick video coming out soon. You'll have to stay tuned for that. Not on the Invista, but I would love to do a video on the Invista at some point. This is the ST and the Sport Touring. Starts at $24,000, $28,300. There we go. Looks good. Okay, we are almost done. Did I miss anything? I know, like I said, the test track is downstairs, but, um, oh, Volvo, here we go. We've got a little Volvo display. It looks like I can't go in there. They're from a local dealership, Volvo Manhattan. The Volvos look good, but yeah, their display is closed currently. And so is Audi. Audi is, Audi is closed. Look at this one's a V10. Woo, it's a big engine for a little car. It's the R8. That is fast. I really like the uh, Q7, I think it is. I used to have an Audi A4, and it's just such a classy brand. Classy, well-made. I'm sure you're hearing squeaking tires. This is the Hyundai test track for their Kona. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, watch this. Nice. Very cool. All right. 
Thank you so much, all of you who stuck with me. This was so much fun. I love doing these live stream walkthroughs. They are just such a fun way to see the show, especially if you can't get to the show. It's kind of fun to experience it through someone else's eyes. So if you stuck with me, I appreciate it so much. And this was great. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do that. Please give me a like, leave a nice comment if you want. And I just really appreciate all your support on my YouTube channel. And this was just really exciting. Thanks so much for watching. You guys are great and supportive and wow, that's it from New York City for me. I will see you next time. And as I always say at the end of my videos, motor on. Bye.